What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Macon Stuff. Today I'm going to try and build a propane geyser or water heater for our shower at camp as well as a wooden floor for us to stand on in the shower. Here goes. So today's video is all about showering and I'm pretty sure none of you want to picture me in the shower so uh, moving on. So even though we are camping this December there are still some comforts that we like to bring from home like uh, being clean for one. Generally all the places that we go camping do have ablution facilities so you have a place to wash yourself every night and a place to take a dump uh, if you feel the need. So this place that we're going to this year along the west coast also has those facilities. The only problem is they're just not that good. Most of the campsites along the west coast have pretty much been the same exactly since I used to go there as a kid. Dotted nearby all the campsites there are long drops for those emergencies and showers are taken care of at reception. So depending on how far away from reception you're camping, every day you have to take a drive down to reception and depending on the time of day you might have to stand in a line to get to the shower. I remember going there as a kid uh, the grown-ups always used to take a cool box along and party all the way to the showers fun times but we do it a little bit differently because the facilities aren't so great we tend to set up our camp to be as self-sufficient as possible so the last time we set up a shower at camp uh, this is pretty much what we used we have a shower tent cubicle that is divided in two so one is usually the shower and the other one is the toilet and we had this uh, this is probably the cheapest shower system that you can buy. It just has a shower head. On the other end it has a pump and 12 volt lighter socket and a switch. This is all good and well but uh, it doesn't heat the water so uh, this will just suck up whatever you've got in the bucket, cold or hot. So what we ended up doing was having to heat water on the stove, fill the bucket halfway with water and chuck some boiling water in there and you've got roughly the right temperature for shower water. So some of the water heating systems that I found were way too expensive. So I did a bit of research online and I think I may be able to put together a propane water heater myself. So I went out and I picked up uh, some rubber tubing and I also got this roll of copper tubing and I got a couple of these connectors. So I'm basically going to make this whole geezer out of this. So I'm not going to explain exactly how I'm going to do it because I'm not 100% sure yet. But first I'm going to get started on the wooden floor mat and uh, then we're going to tackle this baby. So uh, here it goes.
So there you have it, the projects are done and I'm fairly happy with how it turned out aside from a couple of improvements that I'd like to make to the geezer. I know this video is coming out roughly a week late but this was a two for one special and uh, I have been kind of busy. Some of you may have noticed that I'm not in my usual environment as some of the things that have been keeping me busy is been moving my office from downstairs uh, where it used to be in my shop to upstairs in our flat. Forgive me for the lighting, I know it doesn't look awesome and obviously the sound as well. I haven't had any time yet to do any acoustic treatment or any improvements to the lighting so far but I'll be getting to that as soon as possible. I've got one maybe two more videos planned for this year before I go on holiday one of which is probably going to be highlights of my last two years on uh, YouTube uh, which has been great fun and um, all thanks to you guys. I'm not going to go into too much depth about that but uh, it will be out soon. As for the improvements that I want to make to our camping geezer, the only problem that I'm having is that the water that I'm getting out of it is not as hot as I'd like. I would say it's probably lukewarm at best. And the only reason for that is I think I'm not getting enough heat inside the geezer itself. So I just need to try and get a better heat source under those coils. I have purchased a new gas burner that I'm going to install underneath that, which will hopefully give me uh, bigger flames, more heat and hotter water. Other than that, I think everything turned out perfectly and now all that's left is uh, to go camping. And myself and my family are very much looking forward to that. So it's pretty late at night, I want to wrap up this outro so that I can get this video uploaded tomorrow. I'd just like to take one last opportunity to say thank you very much for watching and until next time, keep making stuff.